Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF merchandise review and unboxing video. And as you can see, today we're checking out the brand new U2's FNAF 2 figures. With this wave of figures, including Withered Freddy, Withered Bonnie, Withered Chica, Withered Foxy, Mangle, and the Puppet, Withered merchandise has been a long time coming, and pretty recently, companies like Hex, and U2's, and even Funko, they're finally showing all these fan-favorite characters some love, so I'm very excited to check out these figures. Now, U2's did also release a FNAF 2 poster, which showed off some of the withers. I do have it here. It's still sealed, much like the FNAF 1 poster that I picked up, which has the FNAF 1 characters on the cameras. I haven't decided if I want to open them and frame them just yet, so I'm gonna keep these guys in the packaging. And U2s did also release some plushies of the withers. I believe people are getting those orders in right now. I personally did not pick them up, just because, being honest, I'm not too big a fan of the designs. So in today's video, we're just gonna be taking a look at these figures, but there are other withered merchandise from U2s that I thought I should at least mention. For a bit of backstory with this wave, it released back in March. It was available for only two weeks. Thankfully, they're kind of dialing back the limited edition launches they have, but yeah, this was only available for two weeks. And then when you purchased a figure, you could also pay an additional, I think like 10 bucks to get a pin of the character. I personally didn't get the pins. And then finally, for some backstory, the thing that really got me excited when these figures were revealed was Kyle, who is the director of brand at U2s made a tweet saying that going forward, U2s would try to make their figures look more accurate to what the characters look like in, like, their game, which I adore. There is a massive, massive design difference when you look at Withered Freddy compared to the original Freddy U2s figure, where back then, I think they tried to go for a bit more of a mascot-y design as opposed to what the characters look like in their animatronic forms. I've mentioned in previous U2s reviews that I think the Help Wanted wave and Ruin and the Withereds around that time, like late last year, early this year, was really when U2 started to pick up in quality in terms of their figures. The plushies, kind of a different story in my opinion, but yeah, the figures, uh, spectacular. So now I say let's crack open into these boxes. Let's start off with Freddy. These withered figures continue the trend of the new style of U2's boxes where the sleeve has a window for the figure. But taking a look at the sleeve, I really, really love the detail that they went with this time. You can see there's a full look at the figure. You got the caution icon, the stripes, all the wires hanging down. It actually looks like the FNAF 2 location. And then you have Freddy himself, number 41. How the hell are we on figure 41 for FNAF U2s? But here he is on the side, you can see a bit more of the FNAF 2 location. On the back, we have him peeking it into the camera from the party room. This is actually replicating a camera that is in FNAF 2, so love the detailing there. No place to run and exactly one place to hide. Night 1, 3 a.m. There's a bit to nitpick here. Number one, the withers are not active on night one, so <laughs> why would you include this? It's just gonna be inaccurate. And also, I associate this quote more with Foxy, because that quote is from a teaser from the lead up to the game that had Withered Foxy in the hallway. I guess I'll give them a pass, seeing as Withered Freddy doesn't actually have any dialogue, as far as I remember. With games like UCN and FNAF AR, a lot of the older FNAF characters got voice lines, but Withered Freddy still does not have any. So I guess I'll forgive them for that quote, because it does still fit FNAF 2. Uh, this one though, <laughs> this one I cannot excuse. Aw, oh, you look down, would you like a hug? What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that from? When, when has that ever been associated with Withered Freddy? If anything, you don't want to get near these guys. Don't give them a hug. They're frightening. They're terrifying. For the inside quote, they have better luck next time, which is a voice line from Classic Freddy from FNAF AR. So, all right, they finally got a voice line from an actual Freddy. Not sure how well you can see that, but on the inside of the box, you have some of the TV screens from the FNAF 2 office. You might even have, oh yeah, some drawings over here. So, some really fantastic box designs all around, and here is Withered Freddy. Man, it's been a while since I've unboxed a U2s. He is extremely, extremely detailed, and I love the mold and design they went for with Withered Freddy. Like I said, comparing him to the original Freddy figure, this one just looks so much more accurate to the character. Even when they don't have, like, rips and tears in his suit, they still change up the color a bit to make him look withered. You can see it pretty clearly on the back of his body, as well as the back on his head. And it seems like for this pose, they're trying to mimic... Oh! The render that Freddy has when he's in your office and he's got his hand extended. You know the pose that every merchandise company uses on every product ever. They're a really good pose, a really good design. I love how they did the mouth. You can just barely see his endoskeleton teeth in there as well. All the wires exposing him. His top hat is pretty massive. I don't know if that's super accurate, but 
whatever. I, I still think it looks pretty good. Overall, just a really, really fantastic figure. I can already tell I'm going to love these Withered figures. And now let's move on to Withered Bonnie. This guy looks absolutely sick. We got the same detailing on the sleeve, so I'm not going to focus too much on the sleeves. You know, whenever I move on to the next character, we're just going to take the sleeve off. We'll put it right there. Now, Withered Bonnie does actually have some voice lines, so let's see if they used any. You blinked. They do. Time to face the consequences of your failure. You got Bonnie crawling through the vent, a very terrifying background. Love the art on that. And then of course you got the actual art of the figure on the other side. Let's see, for the inside quote, you have might as well face the facts. You are always destined to fail. All right, so shout out to you twos actually using some voice lines from the characters in the games with all those quotes being from Ultimate Custom Night when Bonnie got it. Oh my God, he's trying to escape. Bonnie, relax, man. All right, now here is Bonnie. Now something interesting, the camera picks him up as more blue, but the figure itself is a lot more purple than blue, so that's just gonna continue the debate. Is Bonnie blue or purple? I guess we'll never know. Now this figure, I was actually pretty worried about because the art they showed off, I'm not gonna lie, he looks a bit weird. I think his head just looks a bit too round for my liking. I think it should be a bit more long, but on the figure, it actually looks pretty good. They've got his missing foot, his missing hand, of course his entire missing arm with some wires coming out. You've got a bunch of detailing on his endo head as well, of course the teeth, you know, you got some bolts in there as well. Just barely you can make out the U2's eyes, that's a really, really neat detail right there. U2's figures for Bonnie's always have the ears pretty small because they have to fit inside the box, but... This one, it looks pretty good. I'd say my only real nitpick for this one, and it's incredibly minor, is that these wires at the top of his head, they should be different colors, like blue and red and stuff, but they already have some differently colored wires coming out of his body and arms, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna harp on them too much. Look, they've even taken off his tail. I don't know if we know if Withered Bonnie has ever had a tail, but this is my new head cannon. Of course, you got the different coloring for his withering on the back of his head as well. Some ripping on the back of his body. Overall, again, another really detailed figure. This one looks great. If you don't notice already, there is a pretty common theme when it comes to these, you know, figures so far. I think I'm gonna love them all. Moving on to our third character halfway mark for this wave. We have Withered Chica. Once again, the sleeve for the character is gonna be exactly the same as the other characters. But taking a look at the box, the first quote we have is, I was the first. I have seen everything. Probably Withered Chica's most iconic quote, so the fact that they put it on here is perfect. On the back, we have, I never thought I'd make it through that vent, but now we are together. Kind of disappointing that Withered Chica is not like, in the hallway or in the office in this photo. She doesn't show up in the hallway, so they'd have to put her in the office, but I don't, I, you know, with a Chica, so many iconic camera poses. You could have picked any of those and put it on the back of the box, but nope, just an empty office. All right, listen, I've praised this wave so far. I need to be nitpicky in some places, and this, I'm definitely disappointed by. There she is anyway on the other side of the box, and now let's crack open into the lid, and let's see what that quote is going to be. Come closer, let's smile together. Some more UCN quotes, you twos. I love it when you use official voice lines. And here is Withered Chica. Okay, another, hey, dare I say, another fantastic figure. There's only so many poses you can put Withered Chica in, and I think they picked probably her best one. This one looks very similar to her office pose with two of her arms pointing straight out. Of course, the hands have been ripped off, so you've got a bunch of wires hanging out of her arms and yeah, this pose just looks absolutely incredible. Translated very, very well to a figure design. Look, you got some more rips on the back of her body. You can see the inside of her mouth. And speaking of her mouth, Chica, what that mouth do, girl? Oh my god, that looks insane. There's a bit of messy paint job on the endo teeth, but I'm not gonna blame them. That's gotta be a tough place to, you know, paint. And her eyes are like really bulging out of their sockets. Look at that. When people think of like characteristics of Withered Chica, I think usually they think of of course, her giant gaping mouth, her broken off arms, but the gigantic empty eye sockets of her mask, like, really add to her creepiness as well. I feel like that's a detail of her character that people tend to forget, but I'm really glad. Oh, look at those toes as well, hell yeah. They look like actual talons, like, 
You twos, all right, go off. Yeah, anyways, I'm really glad that they adapted the empty eye sockets and the bulging eyes super well. You see it in the background of my videos, but I usually like to keep my U twos in their boxes. But these withered characters, I don't know, man, they're so peak, I might just have them all lined up on a shelf. Like, I like displaying them in their boxes because then I can have a giant, like, U twos and Funko Pop wall. But these characters just look so good, and they probably look so good together that I feel like I might display them out of box. And so, our final withered for today and don't worry we still have Mangle and the marionette to look at but first we need to get through withered foxy as usual we're not gonna look at the sleeve too much we're gonna skip right to the box dude he looks so cool already I absolutely cannot wait here I come I believe that this is I mean I know for a fact it's a voice line from foxy from FNAF AR I think that's what they're going for here now withered foxy doesn't have a voice in UCN and of course he doesn't have a voice in FNAF AR because well, he's not in those games, but he does have a voice in FNAF World in that, you know, Foxy.exe minigame. So I'm really hoping that they use some of those voice lines. Oh, look at that art. Ready to dance the dead man's jig. Um, okay, so they're just gonna use FNAF AR Foxy voice lines. You're telling me you don't want to use when you can see how fast can you flee? That's such a badass line. Be sure your step through the heart of madness. Come on, man. Th those lines are right there. They're so good. Here's Foxy. Ooh, look at that. He's actually emerging from the hallway into the office. That's a cool detail. <laughs> Roar! Okay. <laughs> sure. That is a FNAF AR Foxy voice line, but <laughs> what, it's, it's a weird one to use. And here is the lad. Let's take him out of the packaging here. I get a lot of comments that are like, you opened them up too rough. <laughs> How's that? And here's Foxy. Oh my gosh, this guy looks so, so cool. I am just gonna keep gushing over these characters because they look insane. Look, you can see his endo skull. Look at that insane amount of detail right there. With all the wires coming out, the, you know, the rips of his body, the rips on his arms. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. His eye patch is flipped up, his arm is reaching out, you know, his hook's like ready to swipe at ya. Such a sick pose, such a sick character design. I really, really love these character designs. I guess that's more so complimenting Scott than you two's, but I don't know, you two's has done just such a phenomenal job adapting these really unique, dynamic, you know, molds of characters into figures because this is not just a reused mold of their like foxy fnaf 1 figure no this is entirely unique with the snout and the tufts of fur like you can really really tell they're trying to be as game accurate as they can and they're nailing it all of these figures look just so so crazy there goes his eye patch right into the back of his head look at his endo ear his endo hand his endo his endo feet, his tootsies, even like these witherings, these exact markings on his face are the exact locations of withering on actual withered foxy. Like you two's really, really took their time designing these guys and it shows because these guys are probably some of their best work yet with FNAF. I still absolutely adore the Ruin Wave and actually before I unbox these withered characters today, I still thought the Ruin Wave was my personal favorite YouTube's FNAF figure wave. But after, you know, now having these guys in my hand, seeing the detail and how, you know, like faithful they are to the characters, this might be my new favorite wave. Like YouTube's, you cooked here. But that is Withered Foxy and that is going to do it for our final withered character. Now we get to move on to Mangle, who I feel like nowadays is kind of associated with the withereds which you know makes sense with their design as we're gonna see in a quick second it is just quite amusing because mangle is technically supposed to be a toy animatronic that got taken apart but like those recent fye puzzles grouped in mangle with the withereds the upcoming funko pops is grouping in like a six inch mangle pop figure with the other withereds and then of course we have this wave which includes the mangle figure with the other withereds or i should say just the regular withereds i am a little surprised that mangle and maybe even the puppet to a degree did not come included with the toy wave of figures like toy freddy toy bonnie toy chica because if they do those guys there's only three toys left and this wave had like what six characters total but who knows i'm very intrigued to see what youtube does do with their toy wave because i'd love to see them the staff literally has to put foxy back together after every shift so a quote from phone guy from fnaf 2 about mangle mangle does of course have voice signs in ucn fnaf ar now he's just a mess of parts so it looks like they're gonna be using 
phone guy dialogue instead of uh, Mangle's voice lines. I do like this art though of Mangle in Kid's Cove. Now there is something very interesting about this figure. But first up, I think the employees refer to him as just the Mangle. Which by the way, I think the name the Mangle instead of just Mangle sounds so much cooler. Same thing with like the puppet or the marionette instead of just marionette or puppet. Okay, very thankfully, my mangle has come intact. I have seen like way, way too many posts from FNAF fans who say, no, my mangle came in like in a billion pieces. So I'm very thankful that my mangle survived the shipping process and hopefully in the future when they do more like all over the place designs like this, they can look into protecting them better for shipping. I've had that happen to me before. It is absolutely a pain in the butt. But anyways, the interesting thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that we already have a Mangle figure. As you can see, number 38, Shadow Mangle, number 45, Regular Mangle. Now, I do believe that Shadow Mangle and Regular Mangle do have the exact same molding. Of course, the paint job is entirely different, Shadow Mangle, from the hard mode vent repair in Help Wanted. And then Regular Mangle having their classic, like, white and pink and red, etc to them. Now, when they first revealed the mangle, their paint job was very, very poor. The endoskeleton was, like, all over the place. It was tan, it was white, it was, you know, light gray, dark gray, black, what have you. Luckily, they fixed it up for the final release, and yeah, this figure just looks absolutely insane. I probably won't spend too much time on it, because, well, we've already reviewed the mangle, because for some reason, Shadow Mangle released before regular mangle. I guess it's not too much of an issue now that regular mangle is here, but... Yeah, I think they look absolutely spot on. Super, super amazing mold as well. Like I just said, a lot of people are experiencing their mangle arriving broken, so hopefully that is an issue u is looking to address in the future, but I mean, to pull off a mold, a figure like this is just really, really crazy. And so that brings us to our final character, the marionette. Some people call them the puppet, others call them the marionette. It seems like this time we're going with the marionette. I'm not afraid of you. Are you afraid of me? What? Maybe I'm misremembering, but I believe that this is a UCN quote from the marionette, but I believe the actual line is, I'm not afraid of you, not anymore, not are you afraid of me? I don't hate you. <laughs> All right, this is also a UCN quote, but it's just really weird that they cut it off. The full line is, I don't hate you, but you need to stay out of my way. But it's just really funny that they cut it off. I don't hate you. You should be. What? I'm not afraid of you. Are you afraid of me? You should be. Is that is that what we're going for here? I don't believe that's a quote from the puppet. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> you twos, you were so close. I recognize you, but I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. What? What is this shenanigans? All right, and here is the puppet themselves, and honestly, this figure seems pretty dense. I'm not sure if inside the music box is actually hollow. It feels a bit heavier than other figures, so I'm very curious if inside here is just completely filled in. But as we can see, this figure has the puppet crawling out of their music box, which is honestly a really, really sick design. I really do dig it. Uh, I feel like their arms should be resting on the music box right there. It's kind of just hovering in place. You can see that. I'm pretty sure the music box is blue, but that's a very minor nitpick. Like, it, it looks fine here. The puppet has a very simple design with the black body, you know, thin black body, white stripes going along the arm, and then a very simple design for the face. So I'd be very surprised if they somehow messed it up, but no, they look perfect. So that is the puppet. Not really much to look at because the majority of the figure is just the music box. But I've definitely said this in the past. I love when YouTube's figures have like a dynamic scene where it's the character doing something or, you know, involved in some activity and not just the character just standing there. So the fact that they went with a super dynamic pose like the puppet crawling out of the music box... That's incredible. So this is the entire withered wave of figures by YouTube's. I'd love to know which figures your favorite. Have you picked up any of these characters? Even though this is a massive wave of figures, as you can see, there are at least six characters in total. There are still so, so many more FNAF 2 characters that they could do. More specifically, the toy animatronics. Seems like they like doing shadow recolors, so maybe we can get a Shadow Bonnie figure, a Shadow Freddy figure, Endo 2, Dee Dee, you know, like there are so many fantastic FNAF 2 characters to pick from. You're not FNAF 2, get out of here. <laughs> like I said, I love to know which characters are your favorite. I love unboxing these characters. I do think that this is U2's best FNAF wave now. Like I said, it was a really close competition between the Ruin figures and these figures, but I think having these guys in my hands now 
They're just so perfect. I really don't think I'd change anything about them. But that's gonna do it for this U2's unboxing and review video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.